Hi everyone and welcome back to uh, the second part of uh, starting with Fusion 360. Uh, a quick recap, uh, um, the first uh, section I talked about um, the login to Fusion 360 and I, talk about, I talked about the, the data panel and strategy and planning and I also started to talk about uh, rule number one. Um, so now um, in regards to rule number one, there is also uh, the second rule, which basically means that um, you can actually also create uh, like a master sketch file. And from that you can uh, extrude and create the bodies and then you can convert them into um, components. Personally, I'm not working like that. You can, I would say you can do that if you have a very simple uh, assembly and uh, not too many components, but if you, something which is a lot more complex, so just keep it as uh, the rule one, okay? Uh, create components and sketch, you know, for, for each part and activate it, okay? So the, all the sketches and everything is gonna be inside it. But if it's something which is relatively simple, you can use a master, <coughs> a master sketch. Now, in uh, regards to the uh, sketching, uh, this is also something that um, you have to really remember keep your sketches very very uh, simple you know avoid creating you know a single large complex sketch you need to keep them really uh, neat and if you have something that it's uh, more complex then it's better to divide the sketch between several sketch files uh, and that is because uh, first there is no reason to create something so complex in, in fusion and second fusion using a lot of resources uh, the cpu resource on the sketch on the sketches uh, compared to when you're creating uh, features and that's you're gonna you really gonna feel the effects the more complex the more geometry you have on the sketches the the harder it's gonna be also on the cpu it's gonna use a lot of you know mass over there to calculate everything so really create it use it really really uh, wisely and um, in many cases you don't really have to uh, there are so many techniques that i've showed also in previous in previous videos and maybe i'm gonna show you also um, in one of these videos or maybe in the future also how you can uh, use for example a very simple sketch let's say okay we have uh, one component here i'll give you just a quick example and I'm gonna create a, let's just say, you know what, I'm gonna use the spline here, for example, and I'm gonna use, do something like this. Yeah, you see, it's very, it's a single um, sketch here, and I can go to the patch uh, environment here. I can go to, for example, revolve. I uh, will take this one, the, uh, select the sketch, I uh, choose the axis, and then I use this one and here you go one single simple sketch and I've created um, uh, already a body here okay all I left all is left to do is just use the thicken to give it thickness uh, if it's this way or maybe the other way if you want um, you can give it I don't know depends on you how much a few millimeters whatever and here you go you have a body you see with a very very simple uh, sketch and it will be also easier in the future to manage this kind of sketches and to, to work with them as you can see i've turned the sketch on and from here you can actually change um, without going actually inside the sketch from here you can change the shape as you can see it's really nice to work from here it's, it's amazing how powerful actually fusion is and what it lets you actually to do and if you if you have for example dimensions then you can just right click on the sketch and choose show dimension okay and it's going to show you the dimensions of the sketch and you can change them from here and this is actually quite good for example in a scenario where you you build a part and then you're going to work on you building the second a second part and a third part but then you want to change something on the first part and it's going to affect or not on the other parts but the problem is because and now we are working on the history based uh, modeling if i'm gonna um, work on the first uh, sketch 
let's just see you know what if i can give you an example here for example yeah i'm going to see this is the first part that i've worked on now i'm gonna activate i'm gonna go into the uh, sketch edit mode see everything else disappeared now i want to change something but it's going to be like in a reference to something else so i cannot see anything and i've seen many people saying hey what's going on where are all my parts you know i cannot see anything so this way you can just turn on the sketch and right click show dimensions as you can see now i have the dimension here i can just double click and i can change it you know 400 and it's gonna change okay it's gonna take like a few seconds and that's it you see it's very simple it's much easier to work like that and that's what most of us you know uh, actually doing a lot of people are actually doing i'm doing it myself you know working like that so um so remember that try to keep your sketches as simple as as, as possible there is really no need and i will show you later also some um, kind of small project um uh, that i actually started a post in uh, in the fusion forum and on uh, modeling uh, without sketching okay i'll show you some few things that i've made and you can actually do that you can make a lot of things without sketches um you know what actually i'm going to show you a little preview here let's just see i'm going to start a new uh, sketch here and i'm going to create um I have the uh, wait a second uh, I have the uh, modifier the create is uh, I'm just gonna reset you see if something goes wrong I can reset the uh, the tools here okay you can always see remove from power show all hidden panels okay and it was the create so here we have the base you know solids uh, from fusion so for example i can go in here and i say okay i'm gonna create some kind of uh i don't know let's do something like this here this is the thickness that i want that's fine and um, i'm gonna create let's just say a hole here somewhere in the center okay and next i'm going to um I just see here I'm going to create something I want something inside here but what I can do I can either use you know what I'm gonna use this one here as you can see this sign here when it's turning to zero uh, like round it's actually um, it's, it's this is the center okay so I can go here and I can go maybe to the other side and I create now, I can create actually now a new uh, design here on the top. Another one here. And I'm going to choose it as a new body, for example. Okay. And now I can just, you know, go in and play with all the different uh, pieces. Okay. So, for example, you know, I can change many things and I can cut, for example, okay uh, i can go to the uh, for example combine tool i already have it here in the top i can say okay i want to create hole on this one and this is going to be my tool body so uh, i want to keep tool and then i'm going to choose cut okay so now you can see here i have two bodies okay and i also have a cut in the middle okay so this ring you see, I can do a lot of things without sketching, and it's very easy, very fast. So this was uh, just a quick uh, demo here. Um, good. So now I wanted to talk about uh, the next one. It was component and bodies. I'm not going to talk so much about it because I already made a video about it, and I already said few words about it. So and also about delete uh, BS remove. It's very very important. You notice when you um, bear in mind most of cases you're going to use remove because remove it's going to it's going to remember in the timeline you see if i'm going to move this one you get this icon so it's not really gone gone it is in the past but it's not going to be anymore in the future okay if i'm going to delete it i'm going to delete it from the past as well 
and that is not good and many times people deleting stuff components or sketches or plans and then they're starting to have all these really nice colors here you know the yellow and the reds and that's not good okay so in most cases just um, they use the remove so um, you see if you go back so it's here okay and um, so it's only if you're 100% sure that this component or this sketch or this plane nobody nothing else using it as a reference for example let's just say i've just created a component uh, i regret it i don't want it i don't want it whatever for some reason then i can go back here and i can choose the delete okay no harm done yes so um so remember really really careful to be really careful with this one now in regards to uh, moving and align it's also very extremely important that you understand this uh, in general don't use move or align inside in, in the assemblies in very rare cases you're gonna need it that's why we have the, the joint okay because when we're using the move or align all those steps gonna be remembered here in the history and it's again it's an extra information processing information so we really not, don't need it and it's gonna be messy and I've seen a lot of people especially when they are importing parts from outside they are starting to move the parts and it, it's really not necessary that's why we have the joint it's for that okay to position the parts where you want if you are in this situation okay in general uh, that's something that's also very important it's when you build something uh, when you're working on the assembly create the parts in place okay so let's just say i'm gonna make a ring here so i'm gonna start a new component okay and then i'm gonna choose the sketch i'm gonna sketch on this plane here now i'm gonna you know uh, draw a new uh, oops sorry a new uh, sketch and i'm going to maybe it's the other side okay so we have a new body okay this is uh, how you should do it in place where it's supposed to be okay don't you know create the, ske the sketch here and then try to move it in here again it doesn't make any sense at all so do yourself a favor a favor and build you know the components in place because then also the only thing you're going to use is as build joint which means you don't have to think about the position the only thing you're going to have to think about is to limit the movement and that's it so it's very easy um, okay next it's about patterning and this is uh, connected to the sketch you know sketching in a smart way when you're doing for example a patterning if it's holes or whatever try not to do in the sketch don't create pattern you know geometries do the patterning uh, pattern you know features for example extrude revolves or all different kind of bodies do the holes do it in here in the modeling environment and not the sketches because then it's gonna complicate the sketch too much and it's gonna take a lot of resource and it doesn't make any sense especially if it's the same shape of a hole the same size um, you know of the body or whatever it is that you're doing also if it's a, for example a fillet or other you know kind of modification or features that you have created it doesn't make sense you know to create it in this in the sketch do it here it's much easier much more efficient much more faster okay so remember that including also the mirroring when you mirror something so you know do it here don't mirror the sketches there's really no 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 it's not necessary if i want you know i can go for example and mirror this one yes i can for example go and say mirror i want you can, you can choose whatever you want if it's a body or a, a feature or if it's a component i just say i want to mirror this uh, body and the body here and it's i'm not going to use this one here i'm going to use for example uh, this face here okay boom so i mirror it over here now i can go and choose select those two 
I'm not going to use cut. I'm going to use the joint. I don't need to keep tooling and that's it. Okay. So we have one body. So uh, as you can see here, so I saved, for example, myself a sketch which I need to do again and again and again. It doesn't make any sense. So remember that. And um, what else? <clears throat> Let's see. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be idea to stop now and I'll see you in the third uh, video. OK. Um, yeah. So in the third video, I'm going to show you some uh, new tricks and um and i'm, I'm going to show you also some few models that i've created using uh, without actually using any sketches uh, free sketches modeling so uh, i'll see you in the next video bye bye